Lawan Makim, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world normally calls God, and Yahweh Shai is his son who the world normally calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside them. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect. And um, this lesson is uh, from the spirit of Kent. Um, how the Lord had put the spirit upon me to think about uh, fighting this good fight of faith. And you, you're not really, let's say, you're not really, you can't, you know, proclaim the name Israel if you don't fight for your crown. Okay? And um, this is also, you know, as, you know, I was noticing... The spirit is heavy on Israelite foreigners In which The Israelite foreigners Their past Was faith You know they didn't have no physical proof They didn't have You know no. Uh, as Apostle Paul said Anything they back of their genealogy But they just believed And that was counted, counted to them for faith As Apostle Paul said in Romans the 4th chapter He said that about Abraham and he was saying how, um, let's just grab it. Actually, I want to, I'll grab, uh, real quick Galatians chapter 3. Verse 14 that the blessing of Abraham. Might come on the Gentiles through Yahweh Shai. All right, and for anybody to get funny, remember Matthew one twenty one said he shall save Israel from their sins. So you're you're a Gentile. All right, because you have went away from the law, statute, commandments of your power. All right, serving the gods in a particular country that you're in, as it says in Ephesians two and eight. Uh, no, what was that Ephesians where it says, uh, you know that you were in time past Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols. So it says on the Gentiles through Yahweh Shai that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith. Okay. And um, that's what it is. You know, we're going to receive, you know. We're going to receive our power back Starting off with the spirit And then physically Through the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Okay So this is the book of Genesis Right Chapter 32 Verse 27, uh, 28 And he said thy name Salakia Genesis 32 and 24 and Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. All right, so we are spiritually fighting, you know what I'm saying? As the scriptures say in Ephesians 6, principalities and high places, we're, we're fighting spirits too, okay? And we're fighting that we may obtain, as the Apostle Paul said, all right? As he wrestled with him, and he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And he said unto me, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Jacob in the Hebrew is Yaquab, meaning supplanter. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and has prevailed. You see, so once we prevail over these uh, particular demons, you know that you fighting, uh, you know, you show also be allowed to be called the son of the heavenly father because that's what uh, Israel means Yasharala which he's the prince of the power okay 
And um, the Apostle Paul knew this. As a matter of fact, we go to 2 Timothy chapter 4. Um, let's see. Yep, 4 and 7. 4 and 5. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. All right. Now, Apostle Paul, obviously, we know he wasn't, you know what I'm saying, in the ring fighting, fighting for real, fighting like that. He's fighting spiritually. I finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. All right. Now, if you're a prince, all right, you know, eventually, all right, your father is going to give you a rulership over his kingdom, right? Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, at his appearing. And not to me only because, according to Ecclesiastes 12 and various precepts that speaks about when your shot comes back, it's going to be judgment. All right, as a matter of fact, well, let me just keep reading. And not only, not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. All right. So now, you know, we understand we have a better understanding what it means to fight, man. You know, Hebrews chapter 12, let me finish it off with this. Verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great cloud a witness, let us lay aside every weight in the sin which doth easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. All right. And um, you basically, every day, you, you got to walk with a purpose. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. You know, it didn't feel good. Like, you know, Jacob fighting with the angel and his joint was out of uh uh um his joint was out of place. It didn't feel good, but the thing is, you know, like with anything, you got that adrenaline, you don't even think about it. For consider him, you know, when you want when you want to finish it, it, it it's things that you know brothers can attest in the world, when you want to when you wanna finish your goal so much that you lose sleep, you know. Because you know you, you're not where you want to be, you know? For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. You know, and it's always like, you know, somebody is going through worse than you, you know. You have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and ye have forget forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son. Despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. All right. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If you endure chastening, God deal with you as with sons. Again, the king deal with you as his son. All right. And what's the son of a king of prince? For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? All right. So just a quick exhortation with that. Shalom to the elect.